I love it. I love it. Let's go! Can I answer that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ask Kawhi. Thank you. I'm happy though. Ask Kawhi. I have no idea what weighed the decision. AD defense was such a big emphasis in preseason. You guys had a good first quarter there, but what happened on that end after that? Um, game plan discipline. You know, uh, Kawhi and Lou Will. You know, uh, our guards got to do a better job of directing the ball, sending the way we're supposed to send it, and the Bears got to do a better job of, you know, being up and helping. So it was a two-way street there uh, from both guards and bigs. But, uh, you know, when we start doing what we're supposed to do defensively, you know, we got back in the game, tied it up, and then we just had some costly turnovers um, at the wrong time of the game. But, um, you know, they, they made some tough shots. You know, we just talking about they had 50 points off the bench. So, uh, you know, if we allow that, you know, we deserve to be beat. But, um, you know, we're going to continue to get better. Uh, I'll get ready for Friday. There's a big disparity in the bench points tonight. Is that a matter of waiting for Kuz to come back for that unit, or do you have to figure it out now? No. Um, obviously, Kuz helps. He's very talented and able to score, but, you know, we have a lot of shots. You know, uh, Quinn missed a couple shots. Um, you know, it's a lot of first game. You know, we, we're not, you know, down or um, upset. You know, we stand level-headed and just – you know, go, go into the next game, you know, look at the film tomorrow, figure out what we can do better um, on both ends of the floor, um, make some adjustments, and then, you know, like I said, get ready to throw it up against Utah. Specifically against you, do you feel like the, the Clippers were really trying to utilize physicality to, to throw you off on offense? Yeah, I don't know what they're trying to do. I really don't, I really don't care. Um, you know, I was just making the right reads. <clears throat> um, you know, they wasn't coming to double as much, so I was just trying to make them pay. Um, and then when they did, they're trying to find the right guy. You know, we, we made some good plays. Um, like I said, the, the defensive end kind of, you know, hurt us offensively. Um, I think the defense, we definitely have to clean up and get better at. But, um, you know, I just try to take what the defense gave me. What was it like just playing in a full regular season game, full speed? Uh, it felt good. Um, you know, trying to get it going. You know, it's been, you know, a while before uh, since I played in the game. so. You know, it, it was fun, fun for me, uh, fun to get back out there on the floor um, with my teammates. And, um, you know, obviously we don't we don't like the outcome, but, you know, we're going to continue to get better. Obviously, first time playing in a Lakers-Clippers game, did, what, did anything about the scene in the arena surprise you or, or the or, or the matchup? No. Uh, it's everything I expected, you know, uh, very anticipated game. And, um, you know, it was, it was fun, you know, the crowd, us – being at on the road and at home, kind of, um, it was it was a great atmosphere. Anthony, you and LeBron are obviously great players, but what, what's the learning curve for you guys to, to figure out the best way to play with one another? And, and are you close to it? You think? <clears throat> um, for us, we're we're both aggressive, um, and so sometimes we kind of like miss each other. You know, uh, I miss him a couple times, and he missed me. So um, just trying to figure it out. You know, knowing that we're gonna draw draw a double team, knowing where everyone else is. Um, when you got two guys who who who's willing passers, you know, uh, it makes it a little bit easier. But you know, we're still learning. You know, like I say, it's game one, you know, of, of many. So um, we're gonna look at the film and see what we can get better at, and then uh, work on it in practice and we'll get ready for our next game. LeBron, what do you think the biggest difference was between the times you played well, first quarter, end of the third, and then second quarter they scored 40 and down the, in crunch time when they kind of ran away with it? Uh, I think the second quarter, like you said, they, they, they made some tough shots. Uh, we kind of let it, the defense, let our offense dictate our defense, and, um, you know, we have to be better at that. Um, and obviously 40 points in any quarter is too much. 
Um, you know, and down the stretch, we had some we had some careless turnovers, some costly turnovers when we were making a run. Um, uh, myself, I know I had three of them that was just very careless. Um, you know, and, and they capitalized off of it. Ball movement was pretty good in the preseason. Uh, they were switching a lot tonight. But what did you see there defensively as you guys got stagnated at times? Uh, I mean, at times we got stagnant, but at times we still got great shots. Um, or, you know, TD had a, a great look off dribble penetration. Um, Queen had a couple looks, um, you know, in that fourth quarter they didn't go. We had some great looks. They just didn't go. So, you know, it's kind of easy to point it out uh, when we don't score. But I think we had some dribble penetration. We had some good kickouts um, that just didn't go for us. So. Uh, we're always a, a pass first team. Want to get guys involved, um, get the guy who, whoever's open a great look, and um, you know, and, and live with the result. Ron, do you think the, the defensive issues that cropped up today are sort of issues of guys learning to play together? Or is it one of intense? I don't think they're issues. You don't have issues after one game. Uh, for me, I do whatever it takes to help us try to win a ball game. You know, I put myself in a position where I was able to take a couple charges. Um, you know, and and that's what it's about. I mean, for me, it doesn't. Uh, you know, I can go get block shots when we need it. I can try to take some charges if I'm there in position. Um, you know, try to stop my man from scoring. And uh, so, you know, it's always going to be you know multiple opportunities for me to be um, you know on time on target on the defensive end. You know, it usually takes a couple months to see a team's true character, but this was such a big first test and first game and, and build up to this rivalry and all the physicality. Did you like just the grit and the mentality that you guys brought to the table? No, I disagree. I disagree. I disagree on uh, how big of a test it was. It's the first game. You know, obviously it's the NBA is back, and, and that's what everybody's trying to have the narrative of, of a rivalry game, and it was a huge test. I think both teams are not who they want to be. Uh, we have a lot of room. To improve, we're a new group that's coming together. We have a new coaching staff. We have a new system, um, and, and it's not a rivalry. We're trying to get better every single day on how we can be uh, as great as we can be. We did some good things tonight. We did some not so good things, and, and that's and that's that happens in the game one, uh, especially for a new club. So uh, we look forward to to getting in the film room tomorrow and, and seeing you know some of the mistakes that we made where we could have been better at. You personally, what was it like to get back on the court after such a long layoff for you? Uh, ecstatic. I was so excited to get back on the floor. Um, obviously, a little, a little rusty as far as, you know, my perimeter shooting and just not being in a game situation in a while, not playing. I haven't played, you know, that many minutes in, in quite a while um, since I sent the last nine games off, you know, from last season. Um, but just to be able to go out there and, and, and fly around once again and jump high and, um, you know, and just be at 100%. Um, something I worked my tail off after I had to, um, you know, the groin injury in, in December. And I'm just trying to get back to, to who I am. And um, so, you know, it was great to get back out there. Well, Ron, Danny had that huge third quarter for you guys. What do you see him being able to do for you as a team going forward? Whatever we need. He's going to defend. He's going to knock down shots. He's a big-time player. He's a big-time shooter. And he's a champion. So um, you never have to worry about if he's going to be there uh, every night. LeBron, you talk a lot um, this summer about – the season about seeding some offense and, and playing through AD. Um, what's that like in practice, and, and how big of a process is it to kind of transition to that? Um, no, I don't think it's much of a process. Um, obviously, you know, offenses are going to get continue to get better and better on how we can, you know, get AD in a, in a proper position for him to be effective, and how as a team we all can be effective as well. Um, and we showed tonight there were times where we were great. Uh, there were times where we could be a lot better, you know, and especially for me being the point guard of the team right now, being able to put guys in position, um, you know, and also being able to put myself in position too to be aggressive at times too. So, um, you know, we we take more look at more film, and like I said, it was a great test um, as far as us on how we can uh, be better. No question. I mean, um, the first game, you know, uh, means a lot as far as. Lakers and Clippers are concerned, and as far as a statement being made, um, the Clippers made a big statement tonight without Paul George on the defensive end. Um, you know, started with Beverly's attitude, but as you mentioned, Gator, in that fourth quarter, uh, they just could not seem to get, you know, quality shots. I think Danny Green finally started to hit a couple uh, down the stretch there, but it was a little too late. So I, I think they're going to have to find a way to incorporate um, 
you know, players early in the offense. I know that, that AD and LeBron was working early, uh, but once the Clippers learned, figured out how to clamp down, it, it really got stagnant and uh, just not enough ball movement. And then, you know, Clippers bench, you know, just <laughs> 48 yeah. points, I believe. I, I'm not sure to, to, to the Lakers 19. You know, that, that's, that's going to be a, a challenge for the Lakers. But it's only game one. But we have to remember, the Clippers won 45 games last year without an all-star. So it's not like it's just happened overnight. They just added some, some dynamic players. But the Lakers are going to have to, you know, fi figure some things out. They're still learning how to gel together a little bit. But they're going to have to figure out how to, you know, get extra possessions. They couldn't get, they couldn't get offensive rebounds for the size that they had in the game. And uh, they couldn't figure out a way to, you know, match that that spirit and that effort. Once, once the second quarter started, it just it, it 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 was it was the Clippers, you know, Clippers game when 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 Lou Williams and and Leonard got hot. They just got to figure out how to way to defend that. I thought the Clippers did a remarkable job at uh, hanging their hat on the defensive end of the floor. You know, big game touched on it. I, I feel like. You know, the first half was pretty much even, and all of a sudden they pivoted to the defensive end of the floor and just said, look, we're going to get a string of stops. We're going to create an offense into turnovers for the Lakers, and that gave them the nudge, you know, going going forward. I think there were, were many times uh, throughout this ballgame where you could have seen the Clippers take off, and there were so many times where the Lakers found ways to respond. Mm -hmm. And I think, as you mentioned at Big Game, there's a, a group of individuals in that Clipper locker room that have played together, uh, that have been through some battles together, uh, led by Doc Rivers. So there's a lot of continuity. Uh, but I think the Lakers still have something uh, to show in terms of they found ways to fight back into it. But I think they'd also look back at the drawing board at missed opportunities down the stretch, you know, second chance opportunities. Uh, I think at times LeBron maybe forced a little bit, tried to get things going with Anthony Davis and couldn't connect. Uh, but overall, I, I think... For this being game one and the Lakers knowing that they're only going to get better, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot you can look at here. Frank, you had that third quarter rally to tie the game going into the fourth. What do you think the difference was down the stretch? Well, we just had a couple possessions, uh, you know, to start the fourth where we didn't execute and they got some run outs. And, um, you know, they took control, I think, of the game at that point. And we were playing uphill, you know, from that point on. Overall, what did you make of just the rotations and what kind of looks you guys were getting on offense throughout the game? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I thought our ball movement could be better. You know, offensively, we look like a group that's new to each other, uh, which was, which is to be expected. You know, we've seen that uh, come and go throughout the preseason, and um, you know, obviously they're they're a well prepared defensive team. So, you know, just something we got to work on. How about defensively once the, in that second quarter they scored 40 points? So what was working for them and how did that impact the game? Yeah, we, we had a quarter where we didn't execute the game plan uh, very uh, effectively. And, um, you know, I got to make sure that our guys do that. Uh, they got two elite scorers out there and, um, you know, really good with decisions as, as well. And, you know, we didn't follow our plan well enough. And when we did, we didn't do it tough enough. I've maintained all along it's going to be a while before they fully get the flow of each other. They showed signs of it tonight. What's your overall assessment without looking at the film, obviously? Yeah, we got a, we got a ways to go. You know, um, you know like, like, like you just alluded to, we've shown signs of it throughout the preseason, preseason and, and tonight. But, um, you know, it's going to take time. You know, and, and we understand that. You know, guys will stay together. We'll get back to work tomorrow and, uh, you know, keep working on it. Frank, he's got a really nice spark okay. in the third quarter. He's been a guy who's typically just been a spot-up shooter. Do you think he can do more and kind of with the talent around him, do you think he showed some of that offensively? Yeah, I mean, well, with the talent around him, you know, he's going to get a lot of open looks. But, you know, he was also very aggressive in, in his action. You know, we're not just using him to spot up in the corner. We're bringing him off screens. And um, he was he was uh, very aggressive in, tra in transition and, and using the screens like we talked about. Um, and he had a terrific night. You said before that the ball movement even could be could have been better tonight. How conscious do you think guys have to be of not just ball watching when you've got guys like LeBron and Anthony out there? Yeah, but we don't want to be, be, be ball watching, but we want to get uh, get to our spots and let those guys go to work and then read double teams. And um, you know, I thought we were pretty pretty uh, efficient with that most of the night. Um, you know, but you know, there were some possessions where we didn't move the ball well enough.
Frank, they were, it looked like they were switching a lot of those screens and just with AD and LeBron and dropping into the paint. What, what are you trying to get out of that action if, they, if that's how the defense is directed? We're going to see we're going to see a lot of switches. You know, those are two big guys, typically guarded by uh, fairly like sized guys, and um, you know we got to uh, slip out of it quicker. And if they go under anything, we got to make them pay over the top. So um, you know, it's just one of the execute, execution pieces that's going to come. That second quarter when Kawhi was getting hot, do you guys feel like your defense adequately made, you know, forced him to earn his points in that stretch? No, I didn't like anything about our defense in the second quarter. You know, we weren't we weren't good enough on the ball, and we weren't good enough with our help. Um, so, you know, that that's, that quarter probably cost us the game. And um, you know, we'll get back to work and just make sure we're tighter with our game plan. Ha, ha, ha.